All right, just doing a quick test of the Matrix City sample using the new computer. It takes a little while to start up. It's a really big project. Computer sounds like it's a turbine starting up. Everything's running smooth, no lag. And we're in. When I first installed this, the video card didn't have the updated driver. So this program, excuse me, uh, this project did crash. But after updating the driver and bringing it back, uh, it works perfectly fine. The only time that it had lag before was when it was compiling the shaders, but now that they're all compiled, everything is flowing smoothly. Uh, now the only lag that I get is if I fly and I turn the speed up. You see a little bit of lag that'll kick in every once in a while. Like right there. Um, the only reason that's happening is because I'm flying super fast, so it has to lard, it has to load large sections of the world called partitions. Um, and those partitions, they're pretty big files. So, um, with flying that fast and only having 32 gigs of RAM instead of 64, that's the only lag that's going to be gotten, but that's not a major thing. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure at some point, you know, we'll want to design something on this scale, but by then I'm pretty sure we'll have an optimized workflow to be able to handle something like this. Um, but overall, what I can say about the project itself is that all of this is amazing. It's a perfect template to build a city off of if a city needed to be built. Um, the attention to detail, the AI behavior, the architecture, even the false interiors. Um, I don't know if we can fly through this. No, we can't. But um, if we stop this, actually, let's walk some more. I don't know, we can walk on this part. Interesting, you can't get in these cars. Huh. Let's see. There's a car we can get into. Yeah, that's the only uh, lag right there. Awesome. Yeah, everything flows smoothly. Oh, and as soon as I say that, there's a glitch. <laughs> wow that was an interesting glitch yeah I don't think we're going to be driving this around the city but yeah for the most part things are running pretty good did somebody just sexy whistle but yeah like I said for the most part everything is running good and if we exit out Uh, let's go over here to the actual city so we can look at the false interiors. Um, I think this is actually pretty cool. So all of these, they look like actual interiors. They look like there's an actual inside, but if you try to go inside, nothing is there. The building's actually hollow. So it's a pretty cool effect. Um, it, I believe it deals with the materials and, and how they are and the parallax occlusion that's on the materials itself so i'll definitely dive into that to learn more about it uh but overall yeah the computer is running fine with this huge project minor lag uh, and like i said this should be running on 64 gigs of ram and right now there's only 32 
But even with 32, the way that it's running now is amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep diving in, see if I can stress test this some more, and then come up with an end result for something that can, uh, can kind of show a little bit more of what this computer can do.